Donald Trump's crackdown on immigration drew immediate protests nationwide. Thousands of people poured into New York City's Washington Square Park Tuesday night, holding candles and signs reading, No One Is Illegal. Vigils and rallies were also held outside Los Angeles City Hall and at the Columbia Heights Civic Plaza in Washington, D.C. This is Debbie Almentazer, president of the Muslim Community Network, speaking in Manhattan Tuesday night. I'm a community activist here in New York City. Um, I'm also a Yemeni American who actually still has family back in Yemen. Uh, shortly after the war, many members of my family were actually able to flee, such as my daughter and her husband. But sadly, as we speak, my brother-in-law's wife remains in Yemen. He actually began the petitioning for her, and she was in Jordan and awaiting just to finish her paperwork. And now, with this executive order, I very much doubt that she will be able to join her two daughters and husband, who are already here. That was Debbie Almentazer, and this another protester, originally from Sudan. My name is Shadin Awad, and I think it's quite ironic that there is a ban or there is a potential ban on people from Sudan and people from a lot of Muslim countries in general, where the U.S. has played a direct hand in disenfranchising the people of those countries. The U.S. has played a direct hand in even the genocide that occurred in Darfur. I think it's really ironic that, you know, now it's however many years later they're saying, oh, we don't want you. We don't want you after we messed up your country. We don't want you after we've disenfranchised your people. We don't want you after we've disenfranchised the world. You know, as the U.S., we meddle. We we go everywhere, the U.S. goes everywhere, and then says, no, we don't want you anymore.